Hi again everybody, uh, this is an update to the previous video I did on the BT setup because I guess I didn't realise quite how many people were completely brand new to iTools uh, so we're going to have a look at it again and we're going to go into a little bit more depth about the setup and all the functions of the app and such like today. Now the first thing I'd like to point out is there's a lot of confusion about this. This is the BT V2, the new the new guy. This is the old style one. You don't need both of these, you only need one. So if you've got one of these guys, you can get rid of this one. You don't need that one anymore. If you've got the older style one, it does some of the same things, uh, but this is the new one. This is the only one they're making now, I believe. Uh, but you don't need both, you only need this one. So, and the phone that I'm using is on iOS 12, the same one that I had before. Um, so if you're on 13 or 14, I've got another video that you'll need to look at for setting up the bypass method to go worldwide, unless you just want to stay local. Uh, but I'm on iOS 12, so I don't need that. Uh, I've been using this for a few weeks now since it arrived and I'm so impressed with it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's such a big improvement on the original. Um, because it's got a plastic casing, the, the Bluetooth signal is much stronger and it stays connected much better, in my opinion. Uh, and the battery life is incredible. I'm charging it maybe once every two days or something like that. Uh, it's so good. And the joystick, it speeds up the map loading so much quicker. Uh, you're, you're talking saving 20 seconds per check which obviously when you're shiny hunting comes in uh, at those few seconds are crucial um so i highly recommend it i wish i could afford to replace all of my original bts with one of these but unfortunately i can't um but maybe one day eh? so anyway to get to the setup if you just received this in the post what you need to do first is you will need an app called Test Flight to download the iTools app. Test Flight, you just get in the App Store, just search for it. Download that. Don't do anything with it. You don't open it. You don't need anything. You don't need a code. You don't need an invitation. Download it. Then go to the iTools Discord. Have a look in the iTools Announcements channel. and the pinned post there, there's a download link. Tap that download link, it'll open up in test flight and it'll give you this app here. Once you've got that app and you've got this guy, switch it on. Light flashes blue when it's searching for a Bluetooth signal. Go into your settings, Bluetooth, connect it there, back to the iTools app. And if you have auto connection switched on, which I'll show you in just a second, it will connect itself automatically. You don't need to do anything else. If you don't have that yet, tap this button here and it will show you on this list. Tap it there to connect it there. And that's you. You're connected, set up. Auto connection, you can do that here. Switch on BLE auto connection. And then it cuts out one step in the setup process, which is nice. So, starting from here, functions of the app. This is just to control your location. It controls the location of this guy here. So, first of all, top left, you have the buttons to program the macro buttons on the BT. You can have four buttons set you've got nine groups here you can have diff nine different groups of four settings we'll come back to that in just a little bit then you've got your settings language settings obviously reset the key i don't know what that does switch osm to google maps this doesn't work anymore it used to work uh, but these days you need a google map key and it still doesn't really work very well gps drifting 
obviously makes your avatar move slightly when you're on the spot. Frequency is how much it moves. Mouse sensitivity, sensitivity isn't used yet. That'll be another function of the, the BT2 at some point. The minus symbol. That disconnects your BT and releases the GPS back to your phone's actual GPS. So if you need to, you can do that at the end of your session and it should put your GPS back to normal. Uh, switching your phone off will do just the same thing. That's exporting your coordinates, should you wish to save your coordinates somewhere else in a different format than the, the usual one. The question mark is the user guide that just takes you to the Think Sky website, which can be helpful, um, but hopefully I can cover most of the questions that you should have. You won't need that. Plus symbol zooms in, minus zooms out. This one recenters you back to the previous coordinate that you were at, whichever coordinate you last clicked go to. This will put you. This will centre your map on there, and then you've got your log, which tells you what you last did, where you went to, and when you did it, which is quite nice and handy. At the bottom, you've got the padlock. So unlocked means that your joystick and your buttons will work. If you lock that, that just switches all the functionality of the BT off. And it will just function as a, a GPS spoofer. None of the none of the buttons will do anything. This bit's a joystick, which is a bit redundant now, um, but you can still use it should you wish to. On this side, you've got speed. Seventeen point two eight kilometers per hour is egg hatch speed that we all use um it's the speed in the app is approximately double what it actually translates to in the real world so anything up to about 20 kilometers an hour will still hatch your eggs and um, because it turns translates into 10 kilometers an hour in actual real speed this is pin mode which means you drop your pins, teleport, and it doesn't draw any routes. This one is walk mode. So you have your starting pin and you drop another pin. And when you press move here, it generates a route along the road. And this one is your root generator and you drop the pins it'll join them up doesn't matter about roads it just goes wherever you tell it this one is supposed to draw a route within the radius that you give it generate a route but it doesn't work very well for some reason i don't really know why this here is probably one of the more important features that you'll want to look at. You've got Poke Sniper, which is 100% IVs. Wild Finder is all IVs of whatever you choose to filter it to. Nearby, if the area that you're in is scanned, Nearby will show you some of the stuff that's around you. Um, most areas won't be scanned, so you're probably unlikely to find much on the nearby. Uh, but you can go anywhere in the world, so why would you need to? Nest connect, connects to masternest.com and will give you nests for various different nesting species. You can just go to the ne nest by with a coordinate or there's a gpx route generated and if you press it 
it should load up automatically in your game. Ugh. Try that again. There you go. And then you've got raids. And field research so various quests and stuff that you can do that one there is just your bluetooth connection this one's hosted mode which means if you have multiple devices you can use a pc to host multiple phones or you can use host and follow to connect one phone for like for example i've got five so i could set this phone as the host go into the apps in the other four and click follow and then whatever i do in this app will be replicated across all of them which is handy for raids and shiny checking and such like this one puts all the pokey stops on the map This one puts all the gems on the map. And this one gives you any imported GPX that you've put on there. And then up here, we've got the cloud. So you can choose from thousands of routes that have already been uploaded to the cloud. You can search them here with different types different author, countries, you've got your favourites, you can save your, the ones you like in there and then you've got nearby which will generate a route up to five kilometre radius of whatever your pin is, you can choose all stops, gyms, it will scan the area, find stops and gyms and then draw a route based on them. Once you've got your route, you can make it loop, start, stop. These arrows here take you from one stop to the next one. Straight between stops instead of walking in between them. As you can see, the pin's moving, just jumping stop to stop which is good for spin requests and such like. You can edit the GPX. You can favourite it with the star or you can download it with that. And in here, you can just type in if you've got particular coordinates that you want to go to. Oh yeah, the buttons. And you're always missing something there. Yep. So we'll go back to the, the macro buttons now because obviously this is the big new feature with the, the BT. And we all like buttons. So if you go back here, you can program each individual button to do a different thing. Generate GPX, you put in here, what radius you want it works like the nearby feature but it will generate a gpx just by pressing one button on here for wherever your pin is at that point so if you just caught something and now you're gonna you're on cool down and you're gonna walk off some eggs just generate a gpx based on whatever distance you want and, and do some walking favorite gpx it picks from your list of favorites and it'll take you straight there increase speed decrease speed Coordinates, press this, it will reset you to whichever coordinate you specified. So like home or wherever you want, wherever you feel most comfortable. And Poke Sniper, if you set a button to this one, it will always take you to the top most recent result in your Poke Sniper. And Wildfinder is going to get added to that soon. 
um, it's been confirmed by iTools that that'll be functionality that's coming very soon, hopefully. Uh, and obviously that makes shiny checking and such like much quicker and easier because you can just press press a button, sugar your joystick, make the stuff load, check it, press a button, go to the next one. So much easier than switching between apps and stuff and waiting for 30 seconds, 40 seconds every time for stuff to load. So apparently I have just sent myself to a Tharabotha. So I might just stay there and have a game. And uh, hopefully you found this user guide helpful in helping you set up your, your new toy. If you've got any questions, you can drop them in the comments. You can come and ask us on Discord. I'll put the Discord link in the description as always. It's in all my other videos as well. If you need to set up iOS 13 or iOS 14, which obviously a lot of you new people will need to, um, it's very simple. I've got a two minute video on it a couple of months ago. So go and have a look at that. And thank you very much for watching my video.